In this problem, a cylindrical riser with the diameter to length ratio is equal to 1 is to be designed for sand casting mold. The casting geometry is illustrated in this figure. This is the figure. The inches, uh, unit sign inches. If the mold constant is equal to 19.5 minute per square inches, determine the dimensions of the riser so that the riser will take 0.5 minute longer to freeze than the casting itself. Okay. This is the casting. Okay. This is the uh, casting. And this is the mold. You can see. Then uh, this is the ladle. So then the motor metal pours to this sprue. Then it enters to the main runner. Then it fills the riser cavity area and the product cavity area casting cavity area okay so then this uh, total solidification time of the riser should be greater than the point five point minute than the casting okay in that way we have to design the riser riser height to length ratio is equal to one that means this kind of riser i have to design if the diameter of the riser is D, it height also equal to D. So this kind of uh, riser I have to des uh, design. So in this problem, we have to determine this uh, D. Okay. Okay. When you are going to determine the D, first of all, we need to calculate total solidification time of the casting. How to calculate that one? Total solidification time of the casting is equal to so I am going to use the Chorinus rule to calculate this one. What is the Chorinus rule? Cm B divided by A into 2. Okay. So then all the dimensions are given. First of all, what is the Cm? 19.5 minute per square inch. Okay. Then we have to substitute the total volume in the surface area. Total volume and the surface area, or the dimensions of the casting is given. So then we can easily calculate the total volume and the surface area. So I will have that values. I will direct sub to that values. Here total volume is equal 61.974 uh, cubic inches divided by total surface area 203.36 square inches. Okay, then we can calculate the total solidification time of the casting by simplifying this equation. So I will substitute that with the in, uh, units. So here the sorry square. So then we are getting the total solidification time of the casting as 1.81 minute. 1.81 minute. Okay. So then what should be the riser solidification time? If the casting solidification time is 1.81, riser should, should have 0.5 minute greater than this value. So that means total solidification time of the riser should have a 2.31 minute. Okay, 2.31 minute. Then in that way we have to determine this D dimension. Let me find the volume of this uh, cylinder. What is the volume? 5 D divided by 2 into square plus, uh, sorry, square into, uh, into D. The volume is equal 5 D square divided by 4 into D. That is equal 5 D into cube divided by 4. Okay. Then uh, we can calculate the total so surface area. Total surface area is equal to 2 times uh, 5 D divided by 2 into square uh, plus 5 D into D. Here uh, 2 5 
d square divided by 4 plus 5 d square then the total surface area a is equal 3 5 d square divided by 2 okay okay then uh, i'm going to uh, substitute these values in the torinus rule total solidification time of the riser is equal cm yeah, let me write that on equation v divided by a into square this is the torinus rule let me substitute the values. What is the total solidification of time of the riser? Requa is equal 2.31 minute. 2.31 minute. Then uh, mole constant is given in this problem the 19.5 minute per square inch. Okay. Then uh, volume of the riser. 5 d into cube divided by 4 divided by surface area 3 5 d square divided by 2 the square of total okay okay let me simplify this equation square yeah. uh, 2.31 divided by 19.5 Let's take the square root. Let's take the square root is equal. Yeah, let me simplify this one. D into three divided by four into two divided by three five into d square. So we can cut here this two five we can cut the d square so we can cut here d. That means this is equal to uh, d divided by 6 okay by making the d into subject uh, we can calculate that value the d is equal 6 into 2.31 divided by 19.5 the square root total so then uh, we are getting the d value d value is equal 2.0 six uh, five inches okay that mean if we design the riser which having the height is equal to uh, two point zero six five inches and the diameter is equal to two point zero six five inches so then we can get the solidification time as uh, two point three one for the riser that is greater than uh, 0.5 minute greater than the casting solidification time okay this is how we are solving this problem okay thank you